Star Wars, one of America's most favorable movie franchises. The first trilogy, um, it ranged from 1977 to 1983, full six years in the making, which was major blockbuster hits. And then as a response to that, um, they made the second trilogy, which is also known as the prequel trilogy, which proved to be a mess in the making. <laughs> Uh, today I will inform you about how the first trilogy of Star Wars is better compared to the second trilogy. Um, most of the actors, including some veterans from the old films, claim that the second trilogy was too bland and dry compared to the first. Um, the one guy that played C-3PO, Anthony Daniels, discussed what went wrong with the second trilogy, claiming that the effects were clever but pointless, the skill is there, but so what? Coldness, that's the word, bleakness even. There were even aspects and characters of the second trilogy that just made the storyline like pointless, I, I guess. Uh, for example, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Some saw him as the comedic like aspect of Star Wars, but a lot said he was like the annoying, the annoying character. Like he just popped up out of nowhere and then just made made like a pointless like he was a pointless character in the in the storyline like he didn't play any major role like he was just a klutz basically and um the ratings of the second trilogy are also very low compared to the first on rotten tomatoes the first trilogy in order percentages of audience enjoyment were 96%, 97%, and 94%. The second trilogy in order, percentages are 59%, 57%, and 65%. Clearly, audience members and even cast members enjoyed the first trilogy compared to the second. The second trilogy, trilogy didn't reach the viewer's expectations, but at least the Star Wars franchise is rebounding with the new movies. Thank you.